कबिल बर्निंग दिस इज वन वर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ आस हैव हर्ड ऑफ लेट वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज इट इट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टेन परसेंट टू फोर्टी परसेंट टू डेलीज पोल्यूशन ऑन अ डेली बेसिस विच इज वाई पीपल ऑफ एन आस्क वाई इज इट डन लेट्स टेक अ डीपर लुक एट दैट रफली कैरेक्टराइज फार्मिंग इन नॉर्थ इंडिया सीज टू सीजन मानसून एंड विंटर सो द फार्मर्स अर्लियर यूज टू सो देर सीड्स बाय मे हाउ एवर द गवर्नमेंट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ लॉ पोस्ट विच इट बिकेम डिफिकल्ट फॉर द फार्मर्स टू सो देर सीड्स अंटिल द अराइवल ऑफ द मानसून विच इज वाई द एंटायर साइकिल गॉट डिलेड एंड दस देर वॉज वेरी लेस टाइम बिटवीन द हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ द मानसून क्रॉप एंड सोइंग ऑफ द विंटर क्रॉप बट लेट हार्वेस्टिंग इज नॉट द प्रॉब्लम The real problem is the fact that once harvesting is done, it leaves behind straw-like strands called stubble, and this stubble needs to be removed before you sow seeds for the next crop. How do you remove that stubble? Here is where the problem lies. Generally, there are three ways for the farmers to remove this stubble. One is to go manual, literally remove every single strand. But this clearly is labor-intensive and sort of unimaginable. The second is to use crop residue management machines which basically will remove the stubble and plant seeds for the next crop however they are very expensive and at the same time a tractor needs to be attached to them which adds to the fuel cost thus making it a double whammy for the farmers even though the government has provided subsidies ranging from 50 to 80% of the cost of the machines the farmers don't seem to be convinced Lastly the quickest and cheapest way to get rid of this stubble is to set the field on fire even though it deteriorates the soil quality the fact is that the farmers end up resorting to this and eventually it's this smoke which makes its way to the heart of delhi courtesy the direction of the winds let me skip to the good part so what are the potential solutions with which we can solve this issue One, the government can give greater subsidies to the farmers to use the crop residue management machines. Two, we should explore ways to use the stubble as a biofuel. And lastly, the government can incentivize the farmers to get into crop diversification. The first benefit would be that stubble burning would be controlled, and most importantly, we'll also end up saving the rapidly depleting water tables in Punjab because we all know that rice does consume a lot of water. With about seventy-five thousand forest fires in Punjab in just the last two and a half months, it's quite clear that this is a serious problem, and it recurs. So clearly we can't just treat it with the usual painkiller but we must jump to the root cause instead